As Christians, we subscribe to the doctrine that there is one God who reveals himself in three persons. He is one, and yet he reveals himself in three persons. We see that in the Bible, in the first pages of the Bible, where it says that God created man, and when he did so, he said the following, let us make man in our image. And us, meaning there is more than one, and so there's one God, but He reveals Himself in three persons. And this also proves the fact that we are made in the image of God because we have three in us. We have the body, soul, and the spirit because we're made in the image of God. Therefore, we reflect Trinity. We are a triune being reflecting a triune God. And so God the Father, we, most of us, we know, we pray to God the Father, we know God the Son. Jesus who came on the cross and died for us and who went back to heaven. But the third person of Trinity whom Jesus talked about on this earth and whom Bible talks about also, and Jesus said that he will come on this earth at Jesus' departure and take the place of Jesus in our lives. And it actually will be better for us to have Holy Spirit in us than Jesus with us. That the Holy Spirit in you is so much better than Jesus with you. Holy Spirit is a person. From the story of Joseph, I want to draw a few simple practical lessons about the Holy Spirit and make it, bring it down to our level so that we can get to know Him. We know the story of Joseph. Most of us know here the story of Joseph. He was a young boy who was extremely favored by his dad. And dad loved him and gave him specific special clothing and his brothers kind of didn't like him because Joseph from the beginning knew he is destined to reign. And that's exactly what Joseph did in the house, being destined to rule. He started in the house as a reporter. So if you're taking notes, I want you to write this down. Holy Spirit is your reporter. Or as a Christian, when you become a Christian, you give your life to Jesus Christ, the first place or the first characteristic that you will experience of the Holy Spirit is when He begins to report your sins to you. And that's exactly what Joseph did. He started to report the evil that his brothers did. He was destined to reign, but he started as a reporter. And of course, we know the brothers did not like that. Instead of getting rid of their sin, they get rid of Joseph. And that's usually the tendency of Christians. When the Holy Spirit comes into your life, when you get saved, the first thing He does many times in your life is He begins to create tension in your heart when you are doing something that is not right. He begins to bother your conscience. He begins to not give you peace when you're doing something and, and you don't like that feeling. And so sometimes instead of dealing with the tension, you remove the reporter. And Joseph's brothers did exactly that. Instead of dealing with their evil ways, they dealt with their brother and got rid of him. And because they got rid of him as a reporter, they never saw him in the family as a ruler. Holy Spirit cannot rule my life if I don't submit to him as my reporter. Now the brothers of Joseph sold Joseph to slavery. The amazing thing about Holy Spirit, you don't, you don't have to sell him. You just ignore and he walks away. Holy Spirit is not a force that is going to put himself on you. He is a gentleman. That means when he's ignored, he walks away. He always announces his coming, almost never announces his departure. In the book of Acts, we see when the Holy Spirit came, a wind, fire, he announces his coming. But when you look at the life of Samson, you see when Holy Spirit is leaving and Samson didn't even know. And the best way, forgive me for saying bluntly, to get rid of the Holy Spirit is to get, ignore him. When you ignore his tug, when you ignore when your consciousness is being troubled, when you ignore when that thing, and you try to explain it away, you're trying to justify that some of you are good, you throw scriptures at it, but you know you're wrong. You know the tension is there and no matter how you justify it and no matter how many people do it, you have to understand when you ignore the tension, you will not have the Joseph in your house as a reporter, but you will never benefit from him as your ruler either. Joseph was raised in Jacob's house, but he was not honored in Jacob's house. Holy Spirit stays there where he's honored, not where people only believe in him.